Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we have for you from Panzer Rex, this is In Focus 1, the Yog Panzer 38 uh, by Lee Archer. Um, this is called also a series Men and Machines of World War II. Uh, artwork by Philippe, Philippe, Philippe Rodna? Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> close enough for American work. Uh, so this one, uh, obviously, if you're not familiar with Panzer Rex, they usually deal with uh, Panzers and Rex scenarios or tanks and Rex scenarios. This is going to deal specifically, probably, with reference photos and such for the for the Jagd Panzer 38, which, as most people know, is a based on a Czech tank that, uh, after the Germans uh, invaded Czechoslovakia, they took over the tank production works there and started churning out their own little tanks. So. Um, this one, uh, again, has an intro by Lee uh, talking about um, the fascination he's had for German, uh, smaller German AFVs, in particular the Jagdpanzer 38. Um, and I can read the whole thing, but I'm not going to. But, <laughs> but uh, this book is uh, going to mostly be black and white. Uh, it is 113 pages or so. And as you can see, each picture has a, a corresponding uh, caption. Uh, bit uh some of them are split up and it, the book's in english obviously so uh yeah lots of interesting photos here some of the american crew who um i think those are americans anyways who uh stumbled across looks like medics actually uh stumbled across this knocked out uh, hetzer and took some photos and then we have some illustrations in here as as remarked on the cover there by uh Philippe. Philippe. I'm so bad with the names. Uh, so then we have some more shots here, some British folks on top of a, of a Hetzer. It's like everybody was everybody wanted shots with the Hetzer. Oh, look, it's so cute. Let's take photos on top of it. Um, you know, there's so many of these. It's kind of funny. Uh, and again, some actual combat photos. Germans, uh, actually, no, it's American, sorry, uh, going through uh, a town and, uh, again, some knocked out vehicles there in the background. So, um, again, so if you're familiar with the series, you pretty much know what you're going to get. Lots of... Uh, lots of reference photos, black and white uh, period photos, uh, some illustrations like these that you're seeing scattered throughout of specific tanks probably, uh, and then lots of detail shots of like, you know, how it was damaged and uh, some some peacetime shots there of, you know, people on tanks that were probably left behind by forces. Um, and I like these because obviously they're showing the camouflage pattern here, which is in the photo, but probably not easy to see. And then here an illustration with the duplicated camo, camo on the vehicle, how, how it would look if you'd seen it in color and so forth. So, um, yeah, you know, a great series here. Uh, not sh quite sure the difference in the... Maybe I should have read the introduction, but the difference between these series, the InFocus series, I guess because they're targeting rather than uh, um, usually I think they did vehicles in a specific area or theater uh, or, you know, a battle of this. And then, then they had lots of different tanks. So this is just one tank, obviously focused is my guess, uh, which I'm sure Lee can, can verify in our comment section on Armoram if you'd like to. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't think it's that, it's not com more complicated with that than that. The book is, uh, no, don't put any pricing here like most most publishers, they put pricing, suggested list price. You guys should do that, really, because you know. But I mean, what if it's at a what if it's at a, a hobby store? They they want to know. They want the customers might want to go. Oh, okay, what's the book going to be? Because otherwise, a hobby store will have to stick its you know little grimy sticker on there and it'll mess it up. Um, anyway, so um, but I think I think these are you know reasonable price. You can if you can't find these uh, through a local or online retailer, you can definitely get them through the Panzer X website. I'll put the link. Uh, down in the description if I can remember to. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, I believe it's like, I want to say it's like panzerx.com, but it's, it's probably something very similar. And um, yeah, it's panzerx.com. So uh, check it out. And our thanks again to Lee for sending us this sample review copy. And we will uh, make this available if somebody wants to do more detailed written review. Uh, if not, this video review will probably have to suffice because we do get a lot of books in and they are difficult to. Uh, to always find people to uh, send to in a reasonable way. I mean, I'm not sending this overseas, obviously, because books tend to get kind of expensive doing that. Like, just buy them a book and send it to them that way. Uh, <laughs> well, anyways, thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time on Turning the Page.